Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we started scaling Mount Colts and got to the end, and even met Edgar's twin brother, Sabin. And now, we're at the Returner's Hideout, so let's head on in. Returner Hideout. Talk to this guy right here. King Edgar, this way please. And he stops right there. But we're going to continue along right over here. In this pot is a green cherry. And under the table. No, oh, not yet. Never mind. Anyway, let's come down here. Look around. This isn't an inn if you want to stay the night. But there's nothing else in here, so let's ignore it. Excuse me. But yeah, let's just follow him. And there's a safe point in this room and a chest, and, well, a guy. Got a high potion. Talk to the guy. Bannon, we brought her with us. So, this is the girl, the one to whom the Esper responded. Esper? It seems the Empire had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. I also heard that she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. No, that's not... Tara. For heaven's sake, Bannon, the girl doesn't remember anything. Hiding from the truth won't change it. Perhaps you've heard this story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open. But someone went and opened it anyway, unleashing all the evils of the world. Pride. Envy, greed, wrath, gluttony. The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of light, hope. Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. You are this world's last ray of light, our final hope. Bannon. I've grown weary of with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. Damn. That's putting a lot of duty on a girl. Anyway, we're in control of Terra. I'm going to take this time to tell you everyone's last name. Terra is Terra Brandford. She is 17 years old. Locke is Locke Cole. He is, I do think, 24. And Edgar is Edgar Roney Figaro, and Sabin is Sabin Rennie Figaro. They are both 27, if memory serves. Anyway, grab the chest, and, and it is a phoenix down. Talk to Locke. The Empire stole someone important from me. I've hated it ever since. If no one stands up to the Empire, more people will be left like me. That's why I joined the Returners. But... There's no one important in my life. I have no family, no friends. That's not true. And besides, I'm sure there are people who find, who feel you are important to them. Those people are counting on you, too. He's a sweetheart. You hear a lot more about Locke later. Anyway, you get this chance to completely explore the place. There are treasures here that you do not want to leave without. Check the barrel. Nothing there. Here is an air knife, an awesome weapon for Locke, another phoenix down, very nice, a knight's code so you don't have to buy it, and this pot is an antidote, and in this one is an ether. What a lot of people don't know about is if you go behind here, and down, and then right, and then down, and then right, and then down, and then right, all the way, there's a chest containing a white cape. This is a very awesome accessory, usable to by anyone. White cape is a flowing white silk cape. Prevents imp and silence. It jacks up your defense and your magic defense and your magical evasion. We're gonna keep that for now. Anyway, get out of this little maze of things. Talk to him. Please, have the courage to join us in our battle. She's a 17-year-old little girl. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> 
Anyway, your mission right now is to talk to everyone. Everyone in your team, anyway. Talk to Sabin. I don't know what to tell you, but I do know that I trust my brother completely. He's always thought of my needs before his own, ever since we were little. I think you should trust him, too. But don't tell him I said that. He'll turn red as a tomato. <laughs> There's a lot of depth to the characters here. The Empire is snuffing out returners wherever it finds them. We must find a way to strike back before it's too late. I wonder if it's still here. There's a scrap of paper lying here. Toss it in the trash. Because we're nice. I don't know what that was about. If anyone knows what that is about, then please tell me. Anyway, Sabin and Edgar's relationship is really sweet and kind. You, again, will hear about it later. Anyway, come in here, and here's Edgar. It's not easy asking so much of you. And if we force our ideas on you, we're no different from the Empire. So, we want you to decide for yourself. Damn, man. That's a lot of responsibility again for just a little girl. Anyway, since we've talked to everyone on our team, if we go back to the gate and talk to him, Bannon, he went outside just a moment ago. He moves for us. Here is something very, very important and very, very missable. Talk to Bannon. Have you made up your decision? Have you made your decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? Say no. I see. Go back out. Talk to him again. He'll ask you again. Say no again. I thought as much. <sighs> Go outside again. Talk to him again. He will ask you a third time and for a third time say no. So, there's really no convincing you? This does dodge a very informative scene. However, it also gives you something else. Hope. How could anyone put their hope in me? Hmm. Poor Tara. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn. Those wounds look awful. S South Figaro. The, the Empire's t taken South Figaro. They're headed this way. So they found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Locke. I know. Someone has to sneak into South Figaro to slow down the enemy, right? This is right up your alley. We're counting on you. Tara, wait for me. I won't be gone long. And watch out for a certain lecherous young king who shall remain nameless. The guy moves in like a hawk. Block! <laughs> See, that's uh, Locke's qu uh, quick wit. He, he uh, called Edgar out on his infatuation. Edgar. Old, dabit, old habits die hard, eh? What about us? We can escape down the Leith river, river and make our way to Narsh. I'm curious about that Osper they found in the mines. Very well. Already the raft by the back entrance. It is risky, but we don't have much of a choice at this point. It's not safe here. Come with us to Narsh. It could be a chance for you to gain a better understanding of your abilities. We've no time for dilly, to dilly-dally. Let's make for Narsh. And here is where it makes a decision. I understand your apprehension. But too many innocent lives are being lost to the Empire while we sit here and stand here and do nothing. Please lend us your strength. This relic will help keep you safe. Obtained Genji Glove. This is only obtainable if you say no to Bannon three times. If you say yes, instead of the Genji Glove, you get a gauntlet. I don't like the gauntlet. The gauntlet takes away your shield but allows you to hold a weapon with both hands doubling its power. A Genji Glove on the other hand allows you to use two weapons at once. I love Genji Gloves and in the main game there are only four sets. 
So you want this one. You can steal them from a dragon later on, but I'm not going to get into that just yet. Here we are at the back entrance, and now we find Bannon in our party. He's an oracle at level 7. He's freaking squishy. Move him to the back row, and not her yet. But let's go up here. Move your ass. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's use that tent. No. Let's use sleeping bag on Terra. And potion on Seven, so we're all maxed out here. And save. And now we just go back down. And head to the end of the tunnel. And you will come to... The Leith River. Here we go. This raft will carry us to Narshi. Hop toward the raft? Yes. Here is an important. Head towards Narsh while protecting Bannon at all costs. If Bannon falls in battle, the journey's over. Translation, if Bannon goes down in battle, it's game over. It doesn't matter how many other people are left alive. If he dies, it's game over. It's automatic from here. You'll run into an assortment of enemies. This is the Nautiloid and the Exocyte. These both hit decently hard, but they're pretty weak all the same. You want Bannon in the back row because he will take less damage back there, so that's important to note. Ink sucks. It will blind you, but we have, uh, we have countermeasures to that. Bannon is an incredibly awesome character who has a skill called Prey. It is a great heal to everyone in the team. Which way should we go? Okay, in real life, I don't think it'd give you an option in a raging river, but we want to go straight. Or did we? Hold on. More of these guys. Again, try not to be too concerned about being blind right now. You can't open your menu while you are rafting. So, just cut loose. Prey, don't attack with Bannon. It's pointless. He has a really sucky attack power. Yeah, we're going the right way. Come on, hand it over. Here's the lesser Lapros. Lapros. Uh, these can do a good bit amount of damage, not only that, but they can also use Fireball. I suggest you knock them out as fast as you can. But, you know, they're fun to fight anyway. They're the strongest monsters in the river. So if you can take these out without too much trouble, you can pretty much take out anything in the river without too much trouble. Terra gained a level and Edgar gained a level. Awesome sauce. Hmm. Just follow in the river. <sighs> so boring. Now he's accompanied by two exocytes. Not too bad. Prey is your best friend. It'll save not only Terra's MP, but your patience. If you have any left after everything. Constantly use the auto crossbow because enemies don't travel in larger groups than one. Like, they always travel in groups larger than one, so... Just cut loose. Bannon gained a level, but we don't particularly give a crap, because he's our healer. Anyway, we enter a cave, and there are two along the river, each holding a save point. And somehow the raft stays there. But, yeah, let's take off that. Wait, no, not yet. <laughs> Change my mind! Save here. That little moon and star symbol means darkness, and if you're blind, that halves your chance of hitting, I think. Halves? I'm not too sure. Back in the river. Which way do we go now? You can either go up or left. Go left. And guess what? We're already in the other cave. Let's save again. And while we're at it, let's get rid of the darkness. Back onto the raft. Sorry, the lack of commentary for this part. It's just really boring. 
it all does it on its own. But here's another fight against more or lesser Leprous. Leprous, sorry. A lot of people are going to bust my ass on the pronunciation, I can see it now. These guys are easy enough, I mean, not a whole lot to worry about. Oh, I probably should have moved Terra to the back row. God damn it. Got a high potion for it. Um, if you're into grinding, back where we said go left instead of up, if you go up, you'll go into a circle. And if you keep on hitting that circle, then you can just continuously grind right there. No big deal. So if grinding is your thing, go for it. The not... Nautiloid has a decent amount of defense out of all the enemies in the area. Oh, god damn it. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I don't want to be blind just yet. Potion and eye drops. Yay, eye drops. We needed more of those. Anyway. Oh, what the hell? Hey, what have we got here? A boss fight against a monster called Ultros. <laughs> You're up the creek without a paddle, and I'm not going to let you through. Does that make me a bad octopus? The first real chance for you to actually die in this game. He's weak to fire, spam, uh, raging fist, and the auto crossbow. Youch! Seafood soup is not on the menu. When you cast fire, he'll immediately anchor, but you just keep doing it. Uh, Raging Fist will do over 200 damage all the time. Ooh, that's one tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. Slurp. Eh. God damn it. Uh, let's bring her back. I knew that was coming, too. That's the sad part. Hopefully it won't tentacle again. Try to keep him off her. Oh, no. No. Damn it. Again. Oh, Jesus. Um. I'm sorry, this has never happened before. Come on, somebody hurry their ass up. Come on, Terra, 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 Terra. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. There we go. Muscle heads? Hate them. Oh, shit. You dick. Hate you. Uh, hate this. He doesn't play fair, honestly. No! God damn it. Switch over to Edgar. Use our last Phoenix down, and then pray. And Terra, move your ass to the back row. Actually, everyone, get your ass in the back row. Oh god. Oh god, I hate this fight. This also stonewalled me for a while. Your ugly one gives me the creeps. Oh shit. No! What? Oh my god. There's the game over screen, folks. Um, yeah, let's move everyone to the back row. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Oh my god, I'm sorry, guys. I haven't died against him in fucking forever. Oh my god. That's almost too good. God damn it. Um. Wow. I, I feel like shit right now, now. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> See, that is like your first good chance to get your ass handed to you. And he took that chance, and he ran with it. Bannon and Sabin both gained a level. Let's keep it clean this time, guys. Jesus. That was horrible. This video is going to be running really long. Take two. 
Same idea as before. Fire, all the crossbow, prey, and raging fist. Shut up, Altaros. Prey. Magic, fire, blitz, left, right, left. Duels, all the crossbow. Fuck him up. I do love the boss music in this game, though. Ooh, you miss, bitch. What now? Ooh, that's one tasty morsel. He's talking about Terra, and here's where he's going to attack her. Preferably not one hitter. Yeah. Jesus. Fucking hate this fight. He won't last long if you keep up the offensive, but the second you turn your back, you're toast. So try to be careful. You saw what happened to me. That is a what not to do part. There he goes attacking Sabin. God. Let's it's the LP curse, I swear to freaking god. That was a horrible, horrible fight. And he hasn't hit her with ink yet. Huh. Come on, put an end to it. Uh oh. No 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 no. Oh no, please block that terror, block that, you bitch. <sighs> Jesus. She's on a roll, I have to say. Come on, kill it! This video is going to be really long. Ow. What is she, like an anti-ink shield? My god. There he goes. Sploosh. Blub blub. I guess I got the point. I wouldn't bet on it. It's probably just hiding down there. You, Something stuck to my leg. Tara, get away from there. Should be alright now. Eight-armed freak. I'm gonna smash it with a blitz. No, Sabin! Out of my way, Edgar. Oh. Pfft, what the hell? Well, he's always been a bit rash. Sabin. Oh, he'll be fine. Are you sure, Bannon? Sir? You're his brother. You should know him better than any of us. Any second now, he'll flop back onto the raft, right as rain. Oh, what the fuck? What? Think he missed the onto the raft part. <laughs> Seven. Seven. You're on your own now. I love how simple he makes it. And there he goes. And there we go. Edgar and Terra race towards Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what of Sabin, who was swept away by the raging waters? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? Choose a scenario, Kupo. Here, we are Mog. Hmm. Bummer. And we have a save point. And here, also, we get to select what we want to do next. I'm going to pick Locke's story next. FYI. So, that'll be next time. Thank you for watching. Pardon my fail. This has been Fenrir. I hope you enjoyed watching. Next time, we'll start Locke's scenario. Take care, everyone.